Good morning, everyone. It just seemed like Christmas was a few days ago, and now January is half done. The weather has been fairly mild and calm for this time of year. I guess that is small compensation for the further measures that have been taken to keep us safe and healthy. I continue to miss you all, and I'm here if you need to talk, FaceTime, or if you need something picked up at the store. It is the time of year that we remember Martin Luther King's birthday and the impact that his civil rights movement had on the black community and their equality. We have been reminded this year in many significant ways that not only the United States, but Canada as well, have improvements to make in how we treat certain social and cultural groups within our nations. Martin's words help remind us that with love, we can do great things, amazing things. A really good movie to watch uh, to get an understanding of segregation is called Green Book. I highly recommend it. There are some special people who need our thoughts and prayers this week and for the coming weeks. We think about the Frankums and the Archers this time as they grieve the loss of Faye. Faye has been in the Sarah Vista since Ron passed away, but when she took a turn last week, the family was allowed to stay by her bedside. Faye's granddaughter, Jen, was able to have Saturday with her grandma where Faye was awake and responding well, which was a gift for both of them. Jen was also with Faye as she passed on Tuesday morning, sleeping peacefully, holding hands. The obituary tells about Faye's life story and is very meaningful to read. We should also keep Wayne Allen in our thoughts. He and his wife Pat and their two boys, an extended family, are coming to terms with another recent cancer diagnosis for Wayne. Wayne is George and Ruth Allen's youngest son and brother to Carol and Roger. Wayne is also a beloved teacher at EDHS and an active member of our community. He grew up in Elmville and St. John's. He's a year older than me and we were in school, youth group, and Sunday school together. Please pray for Wayne and his family as they find the strength to move forward in the coming days ahead. We are also thinking of John Maxim. John suffered a heart attack later this week and was taken to South Lake for surgery. He had quadruple bypass surgery on Thursday and was up walking yesterday. We pray for John's healing and that he will be feeling better soon. We also send condolences to Kathleen and her family as they grieve the loss of Kathleen's mother-in-law, Claudia. She was very active in the St. Patrick's Phelpston Church and in Elmville with the Library Board, Food Bank and Floss Women's Institute. Another life well lived. Belated birthday wishes go out to Dawn on the 2nd of January and Jan has a birthday this week on the 20th. I hope your COVID birthday is memorable, Jan. Have a great week. <laughs>